Traders, this is the Dow. You can see that we have not quite engulfed yesterday's bar uh, and we've closed under Sunday's open. So, beginning to see a little bit of weakness in here. We're holding this range, but um, yeah, if we I would still buy I would still buy pullbacks. So I would buy a pullback to fourteen and a half thousand to see if we can get to sixteen, fourteen thousand six fifty, and possibly fourteen thousand seven fifty. All right, and the RSI is not overbought, so I would still buy that. Uh, looking at the pound, the pound is right on the edge. This key level here, 15170 area, is, is and this weekly pivot is here, we've closed just narrowly underneath it. So tomorrow we've got some important data. If we break the lows, that could come all the way down to 150, 151, 150. So it's a lower close, so there is some weakness in that one. The euro is even more on the edge. That has been side to the sideline today, and the uh, ATMA is creeping lower. I think we may come up here and test one two nine, or we may just just drop uh, down here unless we can close above this S one tomorrow. So in other words, and we're right on the edge. We've had a huge seller's bar, and um, we've not even bothered to close above, uh, significantly above yesterday's close, so we are just sideways. And in a bearish consolidation, I would expect some kind of pullback um, before that's ready to drop down. The fact we're under the Fib zone yesterday and today, the 50% Fib zone that is, to me, suggests that that could want to come down to 12680. Okay, that's quite some seller's bar there on Monday, and we've not recovered. So be careful of the Dow because if this drops, we break that one uh, 182725, that could drag the Dow down with it. Okay, I hope that helps and see you in the next update.